Hey Virgo Summon Rising and Venus, this is what we got going on for January 6, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. The reading special is still going on for the next 48 hours for anyone who's interested in purchasing. I got Crystal Sage Incense and a lot of stuff on my website for anyone who's interested. Tarotbarbie.com, reading special, next 48 hours only, Virgos. Um, also, um, we are all adults, okay? This is a channel of love, compassion, and family. It's where we can all learn to grow on a spiritual level. And uh, people who are sitting there criticizing other people in the comment section, talking they shit, and criticizing me because I speak fast, how I choose to move, and whatever is none of your concern. YouTube has this really amazing uh, feature where you can click up the top right hand corner where they have three dots and you can actually adjust the speed instead of feeling like you can blow smoke my way um grow up as a matter of fact I haven't I never thought I would ever have to like talk like that to an adult but I mean if I mean if, if the shoe fits then feel it I guess but I mean at the end of the day technology is real out here so the top right hand corner, there's three dots. Click it. Adjust the speed because I can't explain to you how much I find it so irritating to see adults complain about stupid shit. My biggest pet peeve is seeing adults complaining. You guys are older than the age of 30 years old and y'all sitting out here complaining over what? We got kids starving in Africa. We got shit going on on the borders. We got the virus happening at the moment. And y'all be complaining about stupid ass shit. Get your life together. Get your life together. Virgos. The year is 2022 now. That bullying shit. Put it the fuck away. Let's get it, sweeties. Coming in with the Four of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the t Death card in reverse. You guys got a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's really upset at the moment. They're not doing all that great, Virgos. This person is still cleaving on to you, but maybe they're not able to get any access to you at the same time because justice is prevailing. Libra energy. This person was hoping that they can come towards you, but at the end of the day, you guys are choosing to move on with your life. Six of Swords. Calling it a day. No thanks. Mercury retrograde. Everyone coming back for you guys. So you guys are like, no thanks. I'm good at the end of the day. And you guys are ready to move on with your life. These people are going to be really, really upset when they actually see that you really be moving on with your life. Maybe these people want you to stay corrupted or however you want to call it. But at the end of the day, you're still moving on with your life. Somebody here may also be a little bit fearful to go on to the next journey of their life, Virgos. It's saying that you guys might be a little bit fearful of the unknown. Uh, the only way you're going to not be fearful is because if you take that leap of faith and trust that the universe is going to be able to catch you. You guys have a lot of great fortune coming towards you guys, Virgos, coming with the wheel card seven of wands. That nobody can come in your way. That nobody can stop you. That nobody can do nothing to you at this point, Virgo. Seven of wands, you're at the highest altar. You're protected. You're safe. If anyone's trying to attack you, harm you in any way, shape, or form, trying to mess with your abundance, trying to mess with your fortune, they can't, they can't, they can't, Virgos. It is what it is at the end of the day. They cannot. The cycle is completed. It's done and over with. It was at it was one time and and you're not gonna go through the same shit again, okay? You guys are fine and safe at this point, okay, cuties? I promise you. Uh there's gonna be a cancer Pisces Scorpio who's gonna want to come towards you, but they maybe this person doesn't have enough motivation to put work in the connection here because maybe they see that you're leveled up at the end of the day. This person's feeling nostalgic on you, they miss you, they want to talk to you, but they're coming in as a page. So whatever that they're trying to offer you, it's not enough to build anything off of it. So for that, maybe they're stressed out because they're seeing you be happy. Somebody here is going to be sitting down talking to one person. And maybe the truth is going to end up coming out lightly here at the end of the day. But the truth is going to be coming out. You guys may not like it, but you're not going to be really saying a whole lot about it. Meaning you're not going to be showing your feelings that you're not going to like whatever this the person is saying to you. Uh, you guys are going to be maybe acting like, oh, okay, well, you know. Because somebody here is being very much so sneaky, thinking that they're going to be able to get away with it. But vengeance is here. Cherry card in reverse. You guys are moving on with your life. You're not moving anywhere close to this connection. You're saying, yeah, this is how you want to be. This is how you want to move. No, no problem. Eight of cups. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You guys are standing in your power. You guys got so much beautiful energy coming towards you guys. Virgos. You guys are really stepping into that feminine uh, energy there as well. That moon crystal is coming back in again for some of you guys. Um... 
moon crystals are really, really beautiful, Virgos, to work with the moon energy. All right, so whoever is that energy belongs to, do what you got to do. Uh, moon crystals bring out, fem uh, balances out your feminine energy. Um, and it's a very sweet, sweet crystal, Virgos. At the end of the day, uh, you guys have an offer coming in from the universe here, right? But somebody here might be feel like daydreaming a whole lot at the same time on whatever it is that they may have lost. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius there. This person might end up in jail, Virgos. Somebody's going to end up in jail. They're going to be going through a lot of darkness here. And this is somebody that you guys are not talking to at the moment. And the reason why they might not be talking to you at the moment is because they may end up actually in jail uh, in the next four weeks. <sighs> by the time, January, February, March. By the end of March and by the by the end of February and the beginning of March, somebody's going to end up in jail, Virgos. Um, some shit's going to end up happening. Maybe. Maybe, Virgos, okay? Ace of Wands, Two of Swords in Reverse. Somebody here is not being honest. They're being disloyal. Maybe somebody, you guys are in a relationship for long-term, marriage or whatever. You guys are going to come to the real... Okay, you guys are seeing the truth for exactly what it is. It's saying that this person is not honest. They are disloyal. So you guys are going to be seeing that at the end of the day. You're going to see that shit, Virgos. Um, also, Virgos here, this is saying that you guys might be a little bit... Uh, not feeling all that great at the moment with the Four of Cups, just still thinking and reminiscing about the past, that there might not be, that there's going to be a Gemini of Procurus who's not talking to you at the moment. You guys are most likely going to go sign. So even if this person is not going to go to jail, for some of you guys, this person is going to go to jail. And for some of you guys, no, they're not going to go to jail. They're just going to be going through a little tough time, a lot of karma energy is coming in, where you guys are not going to be speaking to this person for quite some time, maybe for the next four weeks. Um, yeah, up until, all the way until the end of March, March 19th, somebody's not going to be speaking to this person. And uh, But eventually there's going to be a new beginning, but even if you guys were to connect with each other again, it's just simply saying that this person's still going to be disloyal. At the bottom of the deck, I got the high priest. The universe has your back. Spirit has your back. They're like, they're, 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 they're trying to get your attention here, Virgos. Okay, make sure you guys pay attention. Uh, you guys are standing in your power. You guys are very, very powerful uh, manifestors here, sweetie. So whatever it is that you guys are manifesting, it moves very, very fast for you guys. Seven of Pentacles. All your harvest is coming to fruition, Virgos. There might be a... Um, a Capricorn who's definitely very much so obsessed with you. This person is going to be reaching out to you, Virgos, right? Because the reason why they're obsessed with you is because they have a lot of love for you here. But some of you guys always cuss this person out with the Queen of Sword energy. You're like, no, I don't want nothing to do with you. Like, what is the point of me have? And you know, Virgos, with the Ace of Swords, it's like you already know that this connection is not going to work with this person. But you guys are stepping into your power. You're like, you know that they're very selfish, very manipulative. You've been, you've been catching the red flags. So that's why you always have got your sword up every single time. You're like, no, what, what the hell do you not understand by no? Like, I don't want you. I I want nothing to do with you. You can't just leave me alone. Like you always come in on some stupid shit with the five of sword thinking that you can manipulate me. And you think I not? I can't see that shit now, Virgos. You guys be... See <laughs> Yo, the thing is, is that people don't understand how smart, psych how psychologically smart Virgos are until they're tested. Don't underestimate a Virgo. Especially a Virgo who, who already knows narcissistic mindset and who also knows about the manipulation and who knows how to flip scripts around yo just sometimes just leave a virgo alone if you're gonna come at them on some crazy shit they will they will run they will run game on you and you're gonna wish you never fucking did that because you're gonna end up in your feelings at the end of the day so if you think that you're gonna be able to tit tat on a virgo yeah don't do it just 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 don't fucking do it because at the end of the day, this Virgo here, Nine of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords, you guys already have the intellect, the intelligence. You guys are already smart. This is why you guys continue to stay single and not deal with stupid shit. And this is why, because you guys, know, you guys be knowing too fucking much. You guys already know what's out there. So the moment that somebody here comes in with some manipulative shit, you turn your back right away. No, no thanks. No thanks. Four of Wands. This is a relationship you guys have been going through. Or this is a somebody you guys could potentially be married to at the end of the day. But <sighs> they just want to be with you at the end of the day. You guys are looking so gorgeous and so beautiful, Virgos. You guys are going to have a lot of tension coming towards you. Ooh. Three of Swords. This person is going to be heartbroken, Virgos. So they're going to do whatever it is that they have to do to come balance everything out between the two of you guys. Yeah, they're going to balance everything out, Virgos, because they want to see you. They want to be with you. They want to have a relationship with you here, too. So... 
Somebody here, Virgos, is going to be trying to bring in a gift towards you guys. They might be trying to decide what it is that they want to bring you. But this person's gone through a whole lot of shit at the same time. Like, they've been struggling a whole lot, too. And a lot of fighting at the same time, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person doesn't want to fight with you. They want to put it behind them. And they just want to come straight for you. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They want to come rushing towards you. Do expect this person to come for you, Virgos. They're ready to communicate and take action, right? And this might be somebody that's coming in from the government. Three of Pentacles, uh, the Page of Wands. This person is coming in, Virgos. They're ready to speak to you. They're ready to bring in an offer towards you. It's been a while, Virgos, here. You know what I'm saying? And and they, they're they hoping that they can uh, see you again. You guys might live at a distance from this person, but they hurt you really, really badly. And you guys had to suffer and go through a lot of sadness and depression trying to figure out, like, what did you do wrong? And you guys literally had to sit there and try to figure out, like, what did you guys do wrong to deserve the shit that this person had caused you, right? And now you guys got a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's trying to figure out, like, why are you still so sad? Why are you so sad for they don't... This person doesn't understand the pain that they have inflicted upon you and why you guys are still so upset at what's really going on. Ten of Cups, okay, Virgos? Just lift your head up, sweethearts, and start becoming more creative. Start working with your chakras so you guys can start seeing how how beautiful life really can be even if people don't treat you well it don't matter you're not living your life for them you're living your life for yourself six of wands you guys are winning at life virgos make sure you guys don't leave yourselves out in the cold with the five of pentacles there okay there's gonna be a tour there's gonna be okay i said taurus so maybe a taurus is coming in who acts like a fucking bachelor ah virgos oh my goodness okay knight of wands aries leo sagittarius this person wants to come towards you all right they've been thinking a whole lot about you too they they're coming to the realization that it's a relationship that can be very much so victorious however though they left you out they shouldn't have done that they had to make a decision between two different things two different paths what decision did they choose to make they don't know so they left you out in the cold and they went into a different direction so at the end of the day they're coming to seeing that yo maybe you're the one that they're supposed to be with right and they left you guys with nothing but burden you had to heal yourself. You had to heal the burden. You had to be like freaking trying to figure out like what the hell did you do wrong at the end of the day? A Virgo energy, right? Maybe there's a Virgo that's involved between you guys. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Uh, at the end of the day, though, Virgos, you guys have healed yourself from all the torment, all the insecurities, all the overthinking. But you guys are coming to the realization and using your intelligence that you know what? I... I'm the one that has all the options. I'm not going to let nobody make me feel like I'm an option when I'm the one that is looking good, smelling good, doing my thing, getting the bag, I got my money, whatever the case is, you guys have got the options coming in. So for that, this person's going to have to sit down in reflection and try and figure out what it is that they chose to do wrong. This person chose to party and drink all the time and they realized that the cup that they chose didn't get them absolutely anywhere. It made them come back and chase you at the end of the day, right, Virgos? But regardless, though, uh, don't ever allow anyone to put you in a position where they have to choose you with somebody else. And always remember that you always already have so many options and other things that are going on in your life. So what is the point of putting yourself and your self-esteem in someone's hands? So this is why I always tell you guys, Virgos, don't ever put yourselves in a position where you're going to be putting your all your eggs in one basket. And another thing, too, Fuck that saying. Some people, some some people will go by that saying, and that's cool too. But I move a little bit differently. So some people will be like, um, you trust the person until they give you a reason not to trust them. Oh no no no, <laughs> that's really dangerous, Virgos. You're not gonna trust a person until they give you a reason to trust them. You know what I mean? How you you're always gonna end up getting hurt. You always. So for that, people always want to sit here and think that they are so so smart psychologically, and then until they meet the until they meet they match. Uh, regardless of where it goes, um, this person is wanting to come back towards you guys. But at the end of the day, they did a number on you, and if you're willing to forgive and forget, maybe you guys can make it work. But from what I'm seeing, you're gonna have to sit down and make a decision on whether or not you're even gonna want to see them. Thanks, cuties. Bye.